It's all coming back to me. I had a great experience on the movie. It was really lots of fun. Romancing the Stone was such a perfect movie. It was a combination of a terrific script, three actors with great chemistry, and was just in every regard well made. And to get all the chemistry right in a film and to make it work is such a rare occurrence. We used to go into meetings. And they'd say, we want it to be like Romancing the Stone. We want that kind of feel, you know? And we just, it's just come part of the culture. It's the greatest compliment to the people who put it together. Follow that stone! The scene that comes to mind most often is me running down the hill, shooting behind myself, which I had any idea was funny. I just wanted to get the hell out of there. Okay, Joan Wilder, write us out of this one. What's that great scene when, when they're at the hacienda and is this Joan Wilder? You're Joan Wilder? Joan Wilder? Vision Wilder? You know, and I have all your books. <laughs> you know? Come in. This is Juanita Wilder, la que escribe las novelas que le leo los sábados. Juanita. Le damos la bienvenida, ¿verdad, muchachos? Juanita. Es Juanita. No. Come in. Adiós, Come in. amiga. Come in. I always love the sequence, too, when they end up after the waterfall on uh, on either side of the river. You did this on purpose! What the hell are you talking about? We just went over the waterfall! And you never know whether he's going to meet her, whether he's actually going to show up or not. What's the name of that hotel in Cartagena? Hotel Cartagena! What do you care? All right. Now you just head towards the sunset, and you'll make it. And I'll be there! Look, Bullethead, if they're hiking through the jungle, there's nothing I can do about it. I have a car. I am not Tarzan. The scene in the phone booth where I called him a maricon. You know, I went down to Mexico. I didn't know uh, what a maricon was. At that time, I was playing with the violin. I used to keep it with me all the time. And I was on the plane, and there were some guys sitting across from me, right? And I took it out, and I was just you know, playing it really quietly. like. And uh, I looked at the guy and I smiled. And his friend turned to him and he said, Maricon, right? And I didn't know what that meant. And then there was an American guy there. He says, the guy called you a Maricon. So I put it in the movie. She's coming right toward the phone booth. She's with some guy. How do I know? She likes guys. So do you, Maricon. The three of them together created a real, permanent character type. You could take those three characters and put them anywhere because they've established this dramatic, comedic connection with, the, with each other that will always be satisfying to watch. We all enjoy each other's company very much, and I think you can see that. When you find two people that you really like and you want to work with, you know, you stick with them.